I'm on top of the world! Oops. I'm over at Dave the guy's base now because he has some villagers. And first and foremost, the thing that I need the most is a feather falling uh, book uh, because I need that. I'm going to go around all these folk and see what I can pick up. But after plenty of trading and some enchanting, my new glowy armor is complete. I am going to need to find myself a good source of XP. And I think the skeleton spawner that was my death in that first episode is going to be the perfect place. The other thing that I definitely need to do is expand my little hole in the hill uh, because my chests are already getting very, very full. Hearing some mob noises near my base, I thought I would investigate. And boy, am I glad that I did, because when I started mining through, I found something quite impressive. I found this fantastic, huge cave that's very, very close to the base. What I think I'm gonna do, rather than continue with changing our starter base for now, is actually just dig this out so we've got a bit of an epic entrance coming into this. I proceeded to start excavating and decorating. And the cave entrance is now fully complete. And I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. I wanted to make it darker here in the middle. So it draws your eye and makes you feel a bit claustrophobic before then opening up into what will be a very, very grand cave once I've worked out what I'm gonna do with it. If anybody's got any ideas what they'd like to see in here, do let me know in the comments, of course. Uh, but now enough messing around with this entrance, which impressive as it is, uh, wasn't the main task that I kind of ended up over here for. And the hole in the hill is still here. So very much now I need to get on with expanding this out somewhat. So I've got a bit more storage, a bit more smelting space and just a nicer living area. I noticed a skulking creeper by a tree near some of my chests and wanted to take him out. Had an extra arrow left in my bow and fired it off into the distance. Little did I know there was a skeleton there and ended up getting myself the sniper jewel achievement. In between random bow shots, I've been doing an awful lot of work on the outside and the inside of my base. First thing you'll notice is I've taken away the cliff that was hiding our base here, added another couple of waterfalls coming down into this area. Firstly, I've brought one in to just link it up, which I think ties our main base over to this new entrance area that we've built. And that same waterfall also comes up this way flows over the top here and goes down underneath into this water source going down the hill. I might bring this out at some point down there as well. Added another little one in here. It just looks so much more open and so much nicer now. And yeah, really happy with how the outside of it's looking, but the outside is nothing compared to what's changed on the inside. So if we come through here, we've still got crafting table protecting the entrance. As you can see, it's much, much bigger. We've got our little sleeping area. We've got our own little enchanting area for level 30 enchantments. I've brought up our uh, nether portal here and we've got a little brewing area as well. On top of that, I've also put in plenty of storage for the early game and yeah, organized everything because it was driving me absolutely crazy. But the piece de resistance is I put in this little automated smelting ray and what we've got is just the ability to put what we want smelted in here and then anything that we've smelted up comes out here. So yeah, really, really happy with how this has turned out. If you like this, let me know in the comments. And now on to a different challenge. Let's try that again, shall we? One eternity later. Eventually. Nope. Ah, that was better. Down to the depths now with an inventory full of items so that I can turn my skeleton spawner into a skeleton grinder for XP and some bones. Partway through building, Lime popped over to the base as he was looking for some resources. I feel like I stepped into like your private quarters here. No, not at all. I've just, uh, this is what I finished upgrading earlier yeah i'm just so glad to actually have more i had four double chests that's what i was working with before lime which yeah wasn't enough i've got some gravel i don't know how much you need do you want to keep any of it take as much of it as you need cool because uh, then i'll just take all that off your hands feel free to, to help yourself the other thing that i was looking for if you would be so kind as if you had me kelp excellent there you go I went all the way down there and realized I didn't have anything to actually <laughs> make water sources to actually bring them 
uh, bring yeah. the skeletons back up. So but... I had the same thing when I was building my water drop and, and like realized, oh, I've got to make a 70 block water elevator here and there's no ocean in sight. So I, I actually picked one out of the community storage and then grew it. <laughs> That's how I got those. <laughs> I remember yeah. the struggle before of trying to fill anything with just like create an infinite water source and spread the water. So oh, just, just a nightmare. So many buckets. Yeah, we're working on a really big uh, villager trading hall too. Well, cool. I'm gonna head back down into my sugarcane farm project. And keep away from those squids. Vicious. Vicious. Devilish creatures. Yes. Cool. Well, yeah, as I say, if you need anything more, just give me a shout. Will do. Catch you soon. Good luck with the spawner. I've come into community storage and Sev has been an absolute star and she's put in a barrel with some mending books in here. Checked with her, I'm gonna take four to put on my tools because they're looking a bit the worse for wear. Completely loving this community storage and I'm gonna be adding in some deep slate and also some bones now that we've got them from the spawner. Now it's connected up to the nether, you will see the finished result. So I'm really, really pleased with how this has gone. Uh, and as we turn around, you can see I've used some quartz and some copper over here this is our lovely lovely spawner i absolutely love this tinted glass it's a brilliant way to actually see everything that's going on but without impacting the spawning rates there they go the first set of skeletons they come down drop into some water streams go up and then across and down the full shoot it's been working and i've already got a fair amount of bones in it and now i just need to mend up my tools next i met up with some of the other legates to take on the dragon i'm ready let's do it let's do I'm this ready. let's go to the end Who's gonna jump first? Uh, I thought the mule's gonna going jump first. first. Uh, Sam, you can jump it. first. Do you, <laughs> you want to get shot in before he dies, baby? Shut it. There we go. Someone do it. Oh, it's done. Done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, got the last set. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Normally it's at this point that somebody looks at an enderman eat. and ends up dying. I have torches. <laughs> <laughs> do I it, Black, you know how to do it. I almost got hit off from the stairs. I'd like to clarify, iron. here is a sign that's very important. This direction is for walking, the others are for flying. So a group of four intrepid explorers set off in search of an end city. There was some bridging. And some more bridging. And some more bridging. Oh, we got a city. Woohoo! Oh, really? Ooh. It's a decent sized one. Don't I see can't see a ship. Oh, nice. No eyes on a boat. Uh, it's, it's on the oh, far side, I think. Yes, I can see a ship. Hope, hopefully. I can, yes! No, I can see a ship. Nice. I can 100% see a ship. I... Then the pain. There are people oh, there. Nice. Okay, we need... There's the people there? Be. Oh, no! damn. Then finally, oh, oh my god, oh, ship, oh, ship, 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 yes. We raided the tiny city, got the elytra, and I was designated as the pilot to fly off and get some more to bring back. None of the land was spawning in. Uh, I had to go back and forth, and because I was going back and forth, then eventually one spawned in, and then another one spawned in, and then wow. another, nice. and then another. So we have two. Oh. Uh, Bowtie, I was told I only needed to bring back two. We headed out together to the quadruple end city I found and started to clear it out before heading back and splitting up the loot. A pleasure doing yeah. end yeah. raiding mm -hmm. business with you. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was good. Yeah, it was good Sorry time. that you uh, yeah. hit the ground. <laughs> that you suddenly just disappeared. I hit the ground a couple of times. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. 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 Let's quickly. This is just me hoping that it all renders in before I hit a mountain. It's that time of the year for the Christmas jumper to come out and this is going to be exceptionally fitting because I am just about to go and build a little Christmas tree on the server and I'm also going to be taking this fantastic little guy. So I've got It's Chocolate in my Discord to thank for making this which is just a little totem skin and yeah it's fantastic. If I pop him into my hotbar there you can see it's just a little lady and I love it. So what I'm going to do now is manufacture all of the bits that I will need for this Christmas tree because it has got some redstone with it as well and then I'm gonna get building I've 
pop the shaders on to show you the finished result. Of course, there is a tutorial on how to build this on my channel if you want to check that out. But it really, really comes to life once you add the snow around the bottom and some of these glazed terracotta blocks with the amethyst buds on top. They make perfect little bows. And if we come in here, actually look out the door and actually head towards the outside, it just shows up. This is perfect. So popping the shaders on, this is what our base finally looks like now that we've cleared away the cliff that was covering it and that we've got the entrance here. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how this is all going. Uh, please do let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see inside the big cave. And all that's left to be said is I will see you next time on AD Craft. Bye.